everybody, I'm returning to you today from Seven Tubs Nature Area. It's my new favorite swimming hole. I was here once before to give you a good overview of how the park is here, some of the trails and the waterfalls, but today our mission is to go through three different tunnels. I discovered them last time and uh, I wasn't prepared to go through them, but I do have my headlamp, I have my water shoes on, And I have my waterproof phone, so we're going to make our way forward and find our first tunnel and check it out. So let's get going. Okay, so the first tunnel is straight ahead of us. You can kind of see it around the bend there. And I'm currently making my way through the creek here, which is kind of cold and slippery. Today is the warmest day we've had in a while. Today is, um, I think, September, I want to say 15th, and it's in the 80s out. And it didn't rain in a few days, so I took the opportunity to come back today before we get some torrential downpours or cold temperatures. It's not easy walking on this, uh, but slowly but surely we'll make our way there. Okay, not much farther, we're almost there. Okay, as you can see, I reached the face of the tunnel. I got my headlamp on. Looks pretty dark. Uh, I think it splits off in the middle. It's gonna be a little bit treacherous because it's gonna be dark and tons of boulders and rocks, but I can do my best to make my way back there. So, let's hope for the best and uh, check it out. It's getting a little deeper here. up to my knees right now but it's shallower on the right hand side very loud in here too we got a little waterfall coming up here hopefully we don't encounter any snakes or anything a spider right there That's lucky where we came from. I'm not gonna go that way, I don't know how deep that is, but we'll continue on this side here. Kind of fast moving water here, it's kind of a little dangerous. Getting significantly deeper too. Don't know how much farther I could go here. I wasn't anticipating this. Oh. We gotta think this out here and see what we're gonna do. That, I don't know how deep that is, I can't see the bottom. It's making me just a tad bit nervous here. I don't think it's too, too deep. Ugh, it's up to my waist almost. And there's another waterfall here too. I didn't think it was gonna be like this in here. Right, I'll be back in a moment. Okay, so I got a stick here. We're gonna see how deep it is. Ah, that's a little bit deeper than I thought. It's probably about four feet deep, but the water is moving pretty fast. That's even deeper over there, that's about five feet deep. And yeah, this might be a bust, I don't know if I can make it through this. It's looking kind of crazy. My biggest fear is falling over and getting swept down and getting hurt. Let's see if I can maybe get on top of this concrete block here and maybe walk on top of that. Oh boy. Oh 
almost fell. That was bad. Uh, I think that's out here. I'm kind of in a dilemma because I want to keep going, but I don't want to risk getting hurt. All right, I'll be back again. Okay, I got up on top of this little block here. I'm gonna try and inch my way forward. I can see the bottom there, so it's not as bad. But I don't know how it is over there, so let me take one step at a time here. Okay, in the water, just over my knees. Much deeper there, that's where I just came from. Lots of spiders everywhere too. Yeah, actually I can use this as a stick to see how deep it is. That is deep there. I don't know if it's worth going any farther or not. I mean, look how long that hole is. And it's going straight down. It's probably about five feet deep. Okay. I may have to stop here. I just I don't think it's worth it. So, there's the other end of it, obviously. I'm not going to go any farther, I just don't know what else I'm going to encounter. But it's much deeper here than I was anticipating, so I'm going to have to turn it around here and check out the other tunnels. It's even harder walking back because I'm going against the flow of water now. This is more dangerous than I was anticipating. Ugh, God. It's kind of deep here. I'm going to try and get back up on this rock, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's pretty deep there. That's got to be close to five feet deep right there. I can't even touch the bottom. Alright, once I get back over there, I'll pick it back up. I'm kind of stuck here at the moment. I'm on this concrete block and the water is moving really fast and it's really deep. So, I'm kind of in a bad spot right here. I don't know what to do. Ugh, not fun. Okay, thankfully I made it. I was stuck on top of that little concrete block there. And uh, you see the water is moving quite brisk. But let's make our way out of this tunnel and uh, not kill ourselves in the process and try and go somewhere else. All right, so tunnel number one, unfortunately we didn't make it all the way through. I thought it was gonna be like this deep the whole way through, but it got significantly deeper, almost to six feet deep. And with the water moving the speed it is, I think I had a, a risk of getting washed away and potentially getting hurt because there's lots of items in the water, logs and pieces of iron and stuff. So I got as far as I could, but now we're gonna go back upstream and we gotta take a bit of a hike to get to the second tunnel, which is the train tunnel. So once we get closer to that, We'll pick up back with the video. Okay, so we reached destination number two, this old creepy looking but awesome train tunnel. There's Lily over there. So I'm gonna hopefully make it all the way through this one. I don't think this one has, this is as bad as the last one. So I'm gonna get started and get inside. What do you think? This is not nearly as deep as the other one, but it's very loud. Why is it scary? Why is it scary? Because you don't get 
It's deeper here. Not too deep. Okay, now it's rock here. We're going here all off the side of the wall. Okay, uh, we're going to cross over. That was pretty cool right there. That's pretty amazing. I don't know how deep that is, I gotta see. You can actually see the water goes underneath the tunnel there, under the wall. Yeah. Stay there. Okay, so I successfully made it through. Lily's still down there. Really awesome though. It's a nice little step falls. And uh, water is not moving too fast, but it's enjoyable though. And that's where it's coming from right there. So we've got to make our way back through and head to tunnel number three. Okay, so we completed tunnel number two. It's definitely the better of the two so far. We have one more to go. It's going to be a little bit of a further hike to get to that one. And I uh, don't know if we'll make it all the way through, but we won't find out until we get there. But uh, let's get moving. So I'm not really a mushroom guy, but I know Cliff is, the wandering woodsman. So this shot is for him. Okay, so as a reminder how to get to the third tunnel that we're going to with the next set of waterfalls, what we're looking at right down there is where the main parking lot is. This is the entrance and exit. This is an upper parking lot, and directly across from there is this little area here with uh, the job Johnny, and there's a trail behind here. And that's what we're going to follow down to it. It does split off down lower, but you're going to just follow the main trail and basically listen for the falls when you get closer to it. 
and then once we get closer I will show you what you'll be looking for and we'll head to the tunnel okay so we're continuing our way down the mountainside here as the trail descends down the slope and not sure if the microphone's going to pick it up but off in the distance you can hear the waterfalls there's two of them that can join in one area and uh, it's going to be the left falls that the tunnel is up on so that's the one we're going to be headed towards and hopefully we can make it through okay so we've arrived as you can see there are two sets of waterfalls here That one's a pretty nice one, but we want to focus on that one because up higher is where the tunnel is. So I'm going to get down a little bit closer to it, assess the area, see which is going to be my best path to make it up there. And we'll head up the mountain and get to the tunnel. I just want to say it really is a nice area here. This is a trail that's not typically taken by hikers around here. Most people don't know about it, but it has a beautiful set of woods here. It's very open and spacious. And these waterfalls make for some nice relaxing areas to sit back and relax and take a break or take some photos. Well, I just wiped out. I uh, kind of fell, hurt myself a little bit. I'm coming down here, and this is like a, an ice skating rink. I didn't think it was that slippery, and I slid right out. Thankfully, I'm not hurt. Just a little, you know, rushed up, but it came what we're looking for. Okay, so this one is much longer than both of the tunnels. As far as I can tell, it's not very deep, at least not in the beginning here. So we're going to get up on top of here and make our way inside. Man, I don't know if that camera caught that, but I wiped out right here again. These rocks are so slippery. I don't know if the camera caught it, but I just fell. I was stepping on here, and right over here is like a sheet of ice. I just swept right out. You weren't supposed to see that because it's me showing me going into the tunnel and then taking you with me. But I wanted to show that because it's pretty funny. So obviously, use some extreme caution if you do this. I'm wearing water shoes and they do grip for the most part pretty well, but this is really mossy and slippery uh, bedrock and it just comes right out in there easier. I'm having a heck of a time getting bruised up, but uh, hopefully you guys appreciate the effort I'm going through, but now let's go inside together and check it out. Okay, we're in the tunnel now, the concrete base, let me get my light on, it's about, I'd say, Six feet tall. Not too much clearance. Only maybe about six foot two, maybe. But lots of cold air coming out of here. It's almost like a coal mine. I hear lots of water up there, so I'm hoping there's no waterfalls where that doesn't get too deep. But let's see how far we can go. It's almost like a, a concrete pebble floor that I'm stepping on. It's like it's not a smooth surface, which is good. It's helping me get some traction. So 
hoping there's no water snakes or anything in here. There's little pieces of uh, metal rebar showing through every so often, like little ripples. There's a nice spider. And another one. I gotta watch where I'm walking here. I'm gonna keep my head down a little bit lower. They're everywhere. If you don't like spiders, you won't like this tunnel. Oh, look at baby spiders. Just what I wanna see. Yeah. There's a big infestation of spiders now that we're in here. We're a little more than halfway through, and right now I believe we're under Route 115. Route 115 passes right over this tunnel. And I'm keeping my head down now. I don't want to get a nest of baby spiders on my head. And they're everywhere. I'm not really afraid of spiders, but I don't want them crawling on me. I've had it happen before in an abandoned house. It's not a good feeling. Okay, looks like we made it. Okay, so I was looking back where we came from. You can see there's like a, a mountainside there. Up on top of there is Route 115. So we just walked right underneath it. Okay, so before we head back, I want to show you something. You see these little knots in the wall here? You can see it's kind of dark here and then it gets lighter. That's the water line. That's how high the water has been before. And I got to tell you, if the water was that high right now, I would get swept away. There's no way I'd be able to stand in here. That's about three feet deep and that would have a considerable amount of force. All right, let's make our way back and we'll wrap up the video from there. This is crazy slippery. The water is cold, but what I'm going through today, I'm actually working up a pretty good sweat, and the water feels great when you wash it over your head. Definitely uh, rejuvenating. One quick thing I'd like to add to the video, I forgot to mention though, if you want to find out what I'm using, to light up those tunnels this is the through night th30 and it's almost like a tactical light it puts out over 3300 lumens on the highest setting and if you want i'll put a link down below in the description in case you want to get some more information or to pick one up for yourself did a full review on this and this light is amazing it's waterproof has a rechargeable battery and gives you more than enough light so in case you're wondering that's what i'm using it's the right there through night th30 All right, everyone, that's gonna do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed my adventure today at Seven Tubs Nature Area. This is part two of me being here, and our purpose today was to go through all three of the tunnels, and for the most part, we accomplished that. The first tunnel that we encountered uh, was a bust. We didn't get to go all the way through. I encountered some really deep areas and some underwater obstacles that just made it much too dangerous. I didn't think it was worth the risk to go all the way through. So we got to see part of it, but not all of it, but 
that's okay by me because I'm able to show you the other ones as well. The second one was the train tunnel, which was my favorite of the three. That one was really cool because they had like the step falls in there. And Lily joined me for that one, and we had a great time exploring that tunnel. It was really awesome once you're inside of there. Made for some really cool photos. And the third one, which is behind me, was that corridor, that water passage that goes under Route 115. That was pretty cool as well. Now, as you may or may not have seen in the video yet, I did wipe out a few times. I'm not sure if I put it in the video yet. It might be a bonus footage afterwards, but there's a couple of areas where I got swept out and could have potentially gotten hurt. And thankfully I didn't, but I'm probably going to have some bruising starting to form and probably be there by tomorrow but I'm wearing water shoes and they did pretty well for today but you want to wear either water shoes or like strap on sandals when you're doing this type of thing but there are a couple areas that were just much too slippery and I didn't realize it and before you knew it I was wiped right out on the ground I think I fell a total of three times two were on camera one wasn't but just know your limits you know come here have a good time enjoy yourself but just know what you're doing don't push yourself too far if something doesn't feel comfortable don't do it simple as that I gotta say, for a beautiful Sunday afternoon, there's no other way I'd rather spend the day. We had, a, I should say, I had a great time, but uh, Lily and Jill were here, here too, exploring, walking around, doing a little bit of swimming. I did a little bit of swimming as well. I didn't film that part, but the water was icy cold. I mean, I went under, I came out, and I was shivering, but uh, what I did now, you know, sticking my head under the water, that felt good because I worked up a sweat, and it was a great way to cool off really quick. But uh, that's enough rambling for me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That means a lot to me. If you're new to my channel, subscribe and ring that notification bell. That way you don't miss any future uploads. And lastly, I'd like to say thanks for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.